All right, guys, let's get started on this thing. So first one, even though we don't have, like typically parentheses, we do have some absolute value, which was going to say do this first. So we'll leave the negative 5 alone. Absolute value of negative 8, folks, is? 8. Good. So times 8. We'll rewrite the rest of our problem. Then we're looking for any exponents. I see some exponents right there. So we're going to do the 2 to the 3rd and get how much? 8. After that, we're doing multiplication and division. I only see a little bit of multiplication. That gives me negative 40. <coughs> Finally, we have some addition rule from left to right. So here we have the same sign. We're going to add them together. 43, negative. Here we have different signs. We're going to subtract them, keep the sign of the bigger number. Negative, negative 35. 35. That's the one. How many have we got negative 35? Good for you. That's fantastic. Okay, next up, same idea. We'll do our absolute value first. 7 times 2. Next, we'll do any exponents that happen. The question I have for you here, is this a negative or a minus? It's a minus. It's a minus. Is it going with the square or not? No. no. Definitely not. So we're going to have 7 times 2. Yeah, minus 25 back there. After that, we're going to do some multiplication. We get 14. What are we going to do now? You change the subtraction. What? Plus. Good. So minus the negative. Did you change that to a plus? Yes. Good. So 14 plus 6. This is going to give us 20. <coughs> And then 20 minus 25, you either do that like it is, if you, if you know how to do the 20 minus 25 and that just makes sense to you, or to use the addition rule, we have to change 20 plus negative 25. Negative, negative 5. That's it. We have different signs. We'll subtract the sign of the bigger number. Negative 5. We're going to try two more for today, and then we'll call it good, okay? Now we're talking, right? Yeah. 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 Are we going to have this kind of fold in the You'll have something a little bit more advanced than those. Yeah. Um, we're building up right now still. So, yeah, you might have some like this. You're definitely going to have some a little bit more advanced than that, though. Okay, so what? What in the world is that? What do those big bracket things mean? Okay, so that just still counts as parentheses. It's just a different way. It says there's parentheses inside of this. That's what those brackets say. So can you find the innermost parentheses? Yeah, the negative one, negative one plus six. That's what we do first. So we're going to write several steps on this problem. In fact, we're going to write every single step so you see really what's going on. So the negative four, I'm not even going to come close to touching that right now. Negative 3, I'm not dealing with that. Plus 2, I don't want to deal with that right now. All I really care about is what's in the innermost parentheses. So can Five. you tell me, how much is negative 1 plus 6? 5. Five. Good. Yeah, we have different signs. We'll subtract. We'll keep the sign of the bigger number. Wait a second. How am I supposed to write this? Dot. Why, why dot? Because it's times. Okay. 2 parentheses means 2 times 5. You can just keep it in the parentheses, though, can you? Yeah, you can. Uh, Jeff has a good question. He says, is it, can you put it like this, or can you put it like this? Does it make a difference? No. no. Same thing. Either way, it doesn't matter. Minus 5. Okay. Hey, how about now? What would you do now? Still. Good. So we're still working in those brackets. We're going to look for uh, PEMDAS within that. It's like a problem within a problem. So here we have our brackets. We're not going to do the negative 3 with anything. We're going to do the 2 times 5 and get how much? 10 times 10. What's next? Brackets. 
Still the brackets. Until we get rid of those, we're still working on that. So what are we going to do exactly after this? Negative 3 plus 10. Yeah. How much is negative 3 plus 10? 7. 7. So we have the negative 4 still. Sign. What's it mean when you have negative 4 <coughs> right next to the bracket like that? Time. 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 <laughs> yeah, negative 28. So we are multiplying there. And lastly, again, we're going to change a minus into plus negative. Negative. And we'll get, because we've done it several times, we're going to look through it. That's answer negative 33. We'll try one on your own, and we'll be done for today. There you go, have at it. Remember, work from the smallest parentheses outward. Okay, we only have about a minute and a half, so I'm, I need to start going through this. So on the first one, first thing we do, deal with the most inside parentheses, we get negative 4. And in there we get how much? Okay, so we have the times 2. After that we're going to do the multiplication in there. So negative 4, negative 6 plus 10. Yeah. Minus seven. Sure. So negative four, we're going to get, and here we'll have positive four. Okay. Next says we're going to do multiplication. Good. Plus negative. Negative twenty-three. Yeah. Question: How many people are able to get negative twenty-three? Does this stuff, is this stuff starting to make sense for you guys? Yes. We are going to do more practice uh, tomorrow before you stick stuff away. It's very annoying. Um, so from last time, we were doing problems like this. I want to refresh your memory from yesterday on how to do this order operations. So what we're looking up here, of course, the first thing we're going to be doing is dealing with what, folks? What parentheses are we talking about? The brackets or the inside parentheses? The inside. Good. Now, what I told you from last time was that if we have, if we have the parentheses inside, we're going to be working on that first. But just do this off to the side or something if you'd like. You don't have to write the whole step out again. Just from here, I'm looking just at this piece. I'll do negative 4 plus negative 1. We should be almost pros at doing that at this point, changing minuses into plus negative. True? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. How much is negative 4 plus negative 1? 3. Negative 5. Negative 5. Five. Never mind. 5, negative 5, what was it? Negative 5. Negative five. And you know what? I'm going to keep that in parentheses because that was a negative 5. I'm going to build my entire expression around that. 
So I know that this little part was negative 5, so I just fill in the rest. I've got 3 minus 2. I still have an 8 minus 2. The only part I made <coughs> negative 5 was this part right here. That's all I've done. And then minus 12. From here, we still work from the inside out. So what's the next little piece that we're going to do, please? Okay, so this? Okay, you know what? A lot of people do this. A lot of people will go, oh, I'm just going to subtract 8 minus 2. But we really need to follow our operations, right? If we do that, if we do that, this means multiply. So if we're doing subtraction before multiplication, we're breaking a rule. So 3 minus 2, yes. 8 minus 2, oh, I'm sorry, 8 minus. And then we're going to do the 2. We're going to ignore all the rest of it. Work on this little part right there. What's 2 times negative 5? Negative, negative 10. 10. So we're going to write what? Negative, negative 10. 10. Hey, this is why I have you practice all that evaluation stuff. So when you get here, look at the board with me, everybody, please. When you get here, if you have this minus, that stays minus. This becomes negative 10. And since it's negative, we have the parentheses. That's why, so you don't confuse this ne this minus for a negative already. Are you with me on this? Yeah. So we had the minus from here. This becomes negative ten. But wouldn't that confuse people like to make it like multiply? What do you mean? Because of the parentheses. <coughs> right here. Yeah. Well, if I had another so number, it would be multiplied. But this right here is just saying eight minus negative ten. Eight minus. Right. So we're, we have those two signs there. Yeah, I get there. it just like other people might. Yeah, no, it, and that's happened before. Okay, so uh, recap a little bit. We've done our parentheses. We do it off to the side. We get negative 5. We keep that in parentheses because that's a negative. Whenever we have a number next to a parentheses, we mean multiplication. So we still do that little part, just that little part. 2 times negative 5 gives us negative 10. Since it's a negative, again, we're keeping it in parentheses. And we carry down the minus from right here. That's why that minus is still there. Now we can start keep going on our bracket. We have 8 minus negative 10. Oh, y'all should tell me. What's minus a negative? What's that become? Plus. plus. Good. Plus a negative or just a plus? Plus. Plus negative. It's just a plus. plus. Two times to one. Two to one. Or one to two. How many do we have here? Two. That becomes one. 